everyone, today we are going to be doing a video on how to play Mirror Tips and Tricks. This is the first video in the installment of the series, so let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about the series. The series is going to be about tips and tricks with different operators. The series will probably be called, because I haven't named it yet, Operator Tips. So, what we're going to do for Mira is first of all, you have to understand that Mira's um, glass win windows, I guess you call them, Mira's mirrors, as you could also say, um, don't always need to be broken. Now, let me show you what I mean by that. So, I'm just going to place a mirror right here. And I'm also going to place a mirror right Oh, so let me face it. Technical difficulties. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna place one right there. Now, what I mean by it doesn't need to be broken is, see how I can see that grandfather clock? So, if you want, you're gonna keep your, your cursor on it, and boom, see I shot it right where the clock was. So, if it's a non, if it's a non reinforced wall or a breakable wall, you can shoot through it and you don't even need to break the mirror. Now, another tip that I want to show you is regular mirrors. See how you can't see over to there? Well, now I'm going to be go like this, and you're going to take out your shotgun or anything else like that. And then you can see much farther now. You can even see the white. And this is something I think I made up. I don't know. Maybe you've done it before too. But So you can extend your vision range by just going like that. And boom, now you can see a, a lot more than you used to be able to see. So another tip is facing mirrors down low in areas like this. Um, oh yeah, also about the thing when you can expand the view, you cannot do it on non-reinforced areas because that would just cause holes in the walls. So anyways, when you have a mirror like this, you can place it lower so that you can stand up and you can see a wider viewing spectrum. As you can see like that. And also, one final thing for Mira is traps. You can place one and you would hide it somewhere. This isn't very good, but you know, you can do it. And so you can see someone running up that and boom, then they're gone. I've gotten multiple kills using this strategy. So when you're gonna do that, you wanna make it somewhere hidden so that they can't shoot it. And um, you never wanna place it right on the mirror because it's kinda useless. Um, you want to make it somewhere that the enemy is likely to come, so you could, so it's not just for nothing. And you want to make it somewhere narrow, so that they can't run away when they see it. Um, like you want to put it like in a doorway or something right there, so when they walk out here, they wouldn't have time to shoot it before you could explode it. And now, where do you want to place your mirrors? Well, you don't want to place it somewhere random, like right here, let's say. If it wasn't reinforced, you might want one there, but if it's reinforced, it's almost useless because how small of a room it is. You want it somewhere where you think enemies will definitely be there. Um, like going up the stairs or going in this hallway. Now, you can't place mirrors on walls like this, the unbreakable walls, be um, because you could spawn peek with that and they would also be kind of overpowered. So, um, mirrors gun. The one I'm using is her machine gun. It shoots pretty fast. It's very effective and um, you can really spam with it because it shoots really fast and one or two headshots gets a kill. And watch how fast, um, it, I'm, it's by the way, it's a vector .45 ACP. Watch how fast the ammo goes out. And it reloads very fast also. Anyways, yeah, you can really spam with it. And her secondary, it's the Ita 1212S. It's not very powerful. It takes about two shots to kill someone at point blank range. But I can I use it for drones and stuff. Now this is a very accurate shotgun. It's not for long distances, but it makes a very small hole. It doesn't spread much. Um, as you can see by that. Um, you can see how it doesn't spread compared to most other shotguns. And it's very good for hunting drones. Now, um, with her gun, I like the holographic sight, but that's just me. Um, you might like something different, and I'm fine with that. But
but I'm just saying, Mira is definitely not a spawn peeker. Her gun likes to recoil. So, yeah, that is all the tips and tricks for Mira, and I will see you in the next um, operator tips. Bye!